All right, so what we're gonna talk about now is Donald Trump, kind of. So it has to do with him, it has to do with his recent meeting with the 100 black religious leaders. They're, the reason I do quotes around 100 is because there are actually reports of some of the people that were there saying it didn't look like 100. They were kind of overestimating on that one. Well, not only that, a lot of people dropped out beforehand, so. True, true. Um, so, with this whole thing, you got a lot of pastors meeting with, uh, with Trump, and a lot of these pastors have really big churches that preach that prosperity gospel. Trump said of the meeting, I saw love in that room, I see love everywhere I go. And I wonder how much love he'll actually really feel when these pastors realize that they could lose their tax ex exemption from this meeting and endorsing Donald Trump. So a little trip to the IRS website. Oh, oh, oh. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> not, they was getting away with that, didn't they? No, no, uh -uh, I don't work that way. So a trip to the IRS website reveals that organizations that have the tax exemption like churches and religious organizations are absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in or intervening in any political campaign on behalf of or in opposition to any candidate for elective public office. Contributions to public campaign funds or public statements of position, verbal or written, made on behalf of the organization in favor of or in opposition to any candidate for public office clearly violate the, prohibi the prohibition against political campaign activity. Violating this prohibition may result in denial or revocation of tax exempt status and the imposition of certain excise taxes. IRS website, do your research. This man wants to be president and he don't even do enough research to know the people he have backing him can't back him without losing everything that they've Stolen to create. Oh, he doesn't care. Well, I know he doesn't care, but he's just so stupid. He didn't even look it up He's stupid, but they're not even smart enough to know that I could lose everything with this Well, they're, they're ignorant from the start like when you I, sorry if you're preaching prosperity gospel you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself and I don't expect you to have a high amount of intelligence to begin with so I could care less about you so uh, Excuse me. The primary pastor is Dr. Daryl Scott. He's a doctor. A doctor usually means you're you got a little bit of intelligence. Just a little, at you least. Know, then you run in a church, you pastor of a church, you and your wife, you look into all these things, you know, so you know, okay, I don't need to cross that line. I, I, it's not that hard. Like you, you go to IRS, you could do Google. Type in tax exempt churches and find all of this information. Like, and it's so it's, funny because they like they violated it to the T. Like, not only violating for the church, <laughs> everything. <laughs> like, like this is for the church and for Donald Trump. I've always supported him. We'll always support him. That's what the dude said. They, they essentially like saw this. Maybe they saw it and was just like, I'm just gonna piss on this and let's see what happens. Because first off, it's different. If they had just came out as a private person and endorsed them, they'd be fine. But when you come out as the pastor, you come out as the head of a church representing that church and its congregation. So therefore, that's the church endorsing Donald Trump, which means that church no longer is tax exempt. Not only that, but you, <laughs> You're a fucking moron. <laughs> you and all the other ones who came out in support of him are a moron. And okay. you make black people look really, really bad. Like, beyond bad. You make us look bad, stupid, idiotic. Like, it's you do this after you have the whole incident with him and Beating and people, throwing out, yeah. <laughs> beating the crap out of someone and tossing out a black man, you know? That, while screaming racial slurs at him. <laughs> and then Donald Trump goes on TV to say, I don't know, maybe he should've gotten roughed up. He was being rude, and you know, a lot of people came to see me, he was being rude. You know, maybe he should've gotten roughed up. Oh, and I've been in a comment, 
If you're such a great orator and you demand, which is, the guy said he's a great executive. That's what the, the pastor stated when he was speaking on Donald Trump's behalf. I don't know him as a judiciary, I don't know him as a legislator, but I know he's a great executive. As a great executive, you should be able to shut up one person in a crowd of, what is it, like 100,000 people or something? Some ridiculous like, number he stated. It's like 10,000. 10,000 people. Crap. Like, one person in a crowd of 10,000 people and you can't hush him up or speak over him or speak so compellingly that the crowd trumps him with roars of admiration? Like, do you think, do you think any other orator in history stopped their entire speech to get one person who was badgering them out of the crowd? Did you know people came with weapons to try to attack Lincoln at various of his speeches? And the man still presented it beginning to end? Like, what history are you setting for this country, man? <laughs> and we tried not to, we were not going to cover this story because there was no other angle to go with other than just bashing these pastors for meeting with Donald Trump, whose decisive vitriol has done nothing but promote racism, fascism, and xenophobia across this could be great nation in the hopes that he can make it great again but again he can't um these black pastors doing that going to meet with him that's i that's just a slap in the face of their congregation to the black people it's a slap in their own face how could you meet with someone who could say these kinds of things post as he put it, just retweet. You still tweeted it. It's a retweet. Tweet is in the word. From a neo Nazi, yeah, a KKK Twitter account. Retweet. That was what it was led back to. Yeah, that's what you're tweeting out. Stats, saying that one guy who interrupted your speech, again, he was one guy, he shouldn't have been able to interrupt your speech, saying he should have been roughed up because he's protesting, which is his God given right in this country. We have that right to protest. You know, it's it's remarkable and it's sad. And I hope the IRS paid attention and saw it. I mean, how could they not? It was all over TV. The media. It's well, all and, over and it was social multiple media. pastors who stood it's, up and spoke on his behalf, I mean, which was so hilarious. Like, and the one guy, like, you gotta go and watch it because you can tell they had no clue what they were talking about. He was like, "There's." Everything's purified by fire. There's good fire and there's bad fire. And Donald Trump's been through the fire and he still hasn't been burnt up yet. <laughs> like, like, honestly, man, honestly, it's it's remarkable. And Omarosa was standing right there. Who knew Omarosa became a pastor? Like, whoever saw that one coming? But she's well, it's right a there. way to get. Free money. Well, true. Without true. doing, with doing minimal work. What do you work with? Like four days uh, <laughs> a month. Like this is strictly the the gospels, the what's the money gospels. Yeah. And that is regular churches. I'm cool with religion. Do do a great do a great thing. But do not tell me that you're gonna cure my cancer for ninety nine ninety nine at two o'clock at night and expect me to take you seriously. Do not walk up to some old lady who's hurt and then push her over and then be like, she's healed. I never get to see her stand up in the camera and then you tell me to send you $59.99 for you to heal more people. Like, no, that is not religion. That is blasphemy. And Omarosa, who is by, by all the stretches, she is a very intelligent woman. That's the way she was portrayed when she was on Apprentice. She seemed to be very intelligent, very business savvy. How the hell did she not know this? And you said she won the Apprentice, right? I don't know if she won, oh, okay, but she bad. was on it. She was on it, gotcha. Yeah. So, it, that, what? You're doing it's, business. You're supposed to cross your T's and dot your I's. Yeah. You're the people who are supposed to look at the fine print in the little documents because half the time you're making it and you don't see that you can't have pastors come out as pastors not individuals and endorse you because all you had to say was i have a hundred black individuals a very prominent status in the religious field that are endorsing me and then give out their names and that would have worked but instead you 
blatantly called them pastors multiple times and stated that their pretty much entire congregation loved you. Yeah. But again, he saw love in that room. Let's see how much love is still there when they lose their tax exemption. Let's see if they're still supporting him after that stupid decision. Have fun with that one.